Welcome to the Miele Dishwasher Installation Video Series Part 3. In this video, we will cover the installation of a new Miele dishwasher. It is essential to carefully read the installation instructions that accompany the appliance before beginning the installation. Safe operation of the appliance is only assured if it is installed and connected by a qualified technician in accordance with these instructions. Safety. As with any installation, safety must be one of the primary concerns. The installer must wear the appropriate protective equipment such as steel toe footwear, back support belt, work gloves, and safety glasses. Now that our site passed inspection, the dishwasher was safely transported to the installation site and the dishwasher was unpacked, we are now ready to install the dishwasher. Tools needed will include a drill, various sized drill bits, jigsaw, T20 screwdriver, flat tip screwdriver, a wrench, a level, tape measure, scissors, tape, and a pencil. First, attach the steam deflector to the underside of the counter at the front edge of the niche. Measure and cut the film barrier as needed so it fits correctly under the front of the niche counter. Remove the center backing covering the self-stick first on the protective film. When positioned correctly, remove the rest of the backing and press firmly into place. Okay, now that the steam deflector is attached, we are now ready to move the dishwasher into the niche and make the water, drain, and power connections in the adjacent sink cabinet. First, slowly position the dishwasher in front of the install niche. Next, remove the water and drain lines from the wire tie wrap on the back of the machine. Now, lay the hoses along with the power cord inside the niche and position the lines to route through the base cabinet and up through the sink cabinet floor. Make sure the cabinet cutouts are large enough to safely pass the three lines through and are as clean and smooth as possible, as this will avoid possible damage to the drain, water, and power cord. Now, route the power cord, water, and drain line through the base cabinet opening and up through the sink cabinet floor. Slowly push the dishwasher into the niche while also making sure you are picking up the slack in the lines from within the sink cabinet. Continue taking up the slack in the lines until the dishwasher is pushed all the way into the niche. Again, this will help avoid kinking or pinching the lines as the dishwasher is slowly pushed back. Okay, it's now time to make the water, drain, and power connections within the sink cabinet. First, connect the water line. The dishwasher can be connected to the cold or hot water supply up to a max temperature of 140 degrees. Temperature requirements may vary based on your specific model. Make sure that the supply connection has its own separate shutoff valve. If energy savings water heating sources such as solar energy circulation systems are used, we then recommend connecting to a hot water supply. This saves both time and electrical energy costs as hot water is used in all programs. If energy savings water heating sources are not used, we then recommend hooking up to the cold water supply to reduce energy consumption. Always refer to the installation instructions and specifications regarding your specific model being installed. The water inlet hose is approximately 4 foot 11 inches long and comes equipped with a 3 8 inch female compression fitting for full size dishwashers. Next, let's connect the drain hose. The machine comes equipped with a built-in non-return valve on the discharge side to prevent wastewater from flowing back into the dishwasher. The drain hose connection size internal diameter is 7 eighths of an inch. Make sure you secure the drain hose with the supplied hose clamp. The maximum drainage head height is 3 feet 4 inches or 1 meter. The dishwasher drain hose standard length is 4 foot 11 inches or 1.5 meters and can be extended to 13 feet 1 inch or 4 meters maximum. Extension and couplings can be ordered through your local dealer or by contacting Miller Parts. Now, let's connect the power. Again, the dishwasher comes equipped with a 5 foot 6 inch power cord with a molded plug for connection to a 120 volt 15 amp grounded receptacle.
It is possible to hardwire the full-size dishwasher to an existing power cable if needed. The existing supply wire needs to be a minimum of 14 gauge. Before working on the dishwasher wiring, always make sure the circuit breaker is turned off and always confirm the power is turned off by testing with the voltmeter. Now it's time to adjust the dishwasher height and level the dishwasher. Let's start by raising the back legs to bring the dishwasher to the underside of the back bottom counter. Make sure you are turning the correct screws when adjusting. The rear foot adjustment screws are in between the two foot symbols that look like an upside down T. Now, let's raise the front legs by using a flat tip screwdriver. Use the flat tip of the screwdriver to insert into the base of the foot notches and turn as needed. Slowly raise the front of the dishwasher up so it meets the underside of the front counter. Place a small level on the inside front lip of the dishwasher cavity. Adjust the legs on both sides of the dishwasher. Check to make sure the dishwasher is level left to right and front to back. Continue to adjust all feet as necessary in order to properly level the dishwasher. Once the dishwasher is level, the door panel is installed and the dishwasher is flush with the adjacent cabinets. You can then fasten the dishwasher with the provided torque screws and then insert the plastic screw hole caps. Once the dishwasher is secured, you can then move on to the last step of adjusting the door tension. The door tension screw is next to the plus, minus, and spring symbol. Adjust the door tension spring screw, plus or minus, so that when opening the dishwasher door, the door will rest on its own at approximately 45 degrees. Confirm again that the dishwasher is level, secured, and flush with the adjacent cabinet. Now, run a quick express cycle to confirm the dishwasher is fully operational with no leaks and you're all done. This concludes part three of the dishwasher installation video series, installing a new Miele dishwasher. Be sure to watch part four of the dishwasher installation video series, installing the toe kick. Everything covered in this video can also be found in the provided installation guide. Again, refer to the installation instructions and specifications regarding your specific model being installed. Thanks for watching.